Welcome, Mike Karen, Captain of True Love. We're going to start our adventure off here in Puerto Escondido and sail uh, directly to Coronado for the first night and spend a couple nights there and see how it goes. Just getting here to Coronado Island and uh, greeted by a bunch of dolphins. About 6.30 in the morning, and first morning here at uh, Isla Coronado. It's a very nice sunrise. I'm going to take the dinghy out and see if I can't spear some fish and just see how, uh, how clear the water is. And uh, it should be very nice. It's one of the better diving spots in the Sea Cortez, so we'll see what happens. Beautiful diving here in the Coronados. You'll probably see 30, 40 different species of fish, and uh, obviously tons of seals. They're all adults and uh, relatively playful. It was a, it's a great dive. Coronado. The water is 88 degrees, as you can see. Crystal clear, more clear than a swimming pool. Beautiful spot. Well, this concludes our Isla Coronado visit. We're going to uh, get up in the morning and uh, head to San Juanico, which is on the coast, a little farther north, and that uh, should be fun. Here we are at San Juanico, and uh, this is one of my favorite spots. It's on the coast. It's a beautiful bay. It's a huge bay. Lots of great things to see. Lots of great hiking. I'm on top of this beautiful mountain right now. And um, yeah, this place is uh, one you gotta, gotta visit. Here are some of the jagged reefs out here at San Juanico. Gonna do a little uh, spear fishing. And uh, what do you know? Came up with a couple of cabrillo and a pargo and uh, decided on the smaller cabrillo that we would grill that thing whole and it ended up being uh, delicious. Hanging out at the beach at uh, um, San Juanico last night about four in the morning, the, all, all night the boat was just rocking. We got in a bad wraparound swell even though there was no wind. The boat was just a beam of the waves. And so I pulled up anchor and uh, navigated over this side with just a bunch of rocks and reefs and made it safely and here we are. We're going to head out today and uh, to Isla Carmen, start heading south. We'll have a little breakfast, say bye to our friends and hopefully get a little bit of wind. Well, we're heading south now towards uh, Isla Carmen and uh, not much wind, motor sailing, but some good news is we uh, hooked up to a nice Dorado and now we'll be having that for dinner. We should be arriving in Isla Carmen shortly. Bienvenidos, Isla Carmen on uh, Belandra Bay. Beautiful spot. I uh, usually get some nice sea breeze through here, but every once in a while, when there's not a lot of rain, we tend to get a lot of bees. That happens around here a lot, and um, they can be Life in the water here in the Sea Cortez in the summertime is just filled with life. You can see uh, Wilbur watching the fish behind the boat, and uh, at nighttime the underwater light just lights them all up. It's, a, it's quite a sight to see, it's just gorgeous. It's time to say goodbye to Isla Carmen and Blondra Bay, 
and uh, we're gonna head back to Port of West Candido. We've got a few repairs to do to the boat that were unexpected and uh, cutting our trip a little bit short. But uh, we'll be heading uh, from Loretto to La Paz soon and uh, hopefully have some good film footage uh, to show at that time. Our story ends right where it started, right here at the marina at Puerto Escondido. Beautiful spot, beautiful pool, beautiful place. You can stay in the heat. It's a fantastic place to hang out in the summertime and enjoy all it has to offer.